Did you see my new vlog I put up today?
him out so he can divide it. You can take the Hi. Hi. Long time no see. Yeah, what's been a couple weeks? Yeah, at least tomorrow morning. Thank you. Well, so, we haven't been here. I don't know. Have you been here? Yeah, I've been here. So, yeah. 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 so we had uh, some Aussies here last week. That's what I'm saying. Some Australian That's people that do a lot. Yeah. A lot more than I know. Twins down on the river. Seen her twice. I was so 
I'm so mad I lived in that house 43 years and my neighbors bought the trailer, you know, about six, seven years ago. And they got to see the uh, bear and her baby cross the road. And I said, that ain't fair, just ain't fitting. Because she, <laughs> they've come here from Texas, you know, and they stay here in the summer and go back and winter and stuff in Texas. But I'm here all the time. I want to see my bear. <laughs> 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 I want to see you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see it when I'm out walking, but right. I walked up on two coyotes one time. Oh, no. Yes, I did. That's scary. Mm -hmm. My dog hadn't been mm -hmm. on a leash. You'd been up in its face and they had it for they breakfast. Would have <laughs> yeah, they would have had it in the heart. Yeah, they would have yeah. had it right on down. Because they know there's no sense. It's Jack Russell. Seven foot tall coming. <laughs> and 
the stewardess come around and said, would you all mind switching seats? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my friend in Hawaii tells me that everybody that comes to visit them comes, catches a cold on the plane. Yeah, yeah. that's right. They're delayed now. <clears throat> so last time I flew was to Minnesota. That was about six weeks ago. And the first thing that happened, uh, one of the seats broke, and so they had to bring the guy out here. So we were a couple hours late fixing the seat, and I thought, oh my God, this is just a, this, this plane's a turkey. So we get, up, we get up in the air, we're out about half hour, and then the pilot says, well, sorry passengers, uh, there is a nozzle in the air conditioning system, we've had a nozzle failure. <laughs> so we had to, so the nozzle, there, we have an overheating nozzle, and so we had to turn back and oh. had to get an entirely new airplane. I have never heard of such a well, I was on a C-19 on a train flight one time, and <coughs> 49 of us on the board. An engine caught fire. Oh my gosh. And we're about 200 miles from base, so uh, they tried every way to get the fire put out. They used the wing uh, extinguishers. Uh -huh. Finally, they they feathered the engines, and it still it still couldn't get it out. Finally, they had to cut it off, and <coughs> they got the fire put out. But uh, in the meantime, they had prepared us to jump. And the only thing we had is them small emergency yeah. shoots. <laughs> well, were you, were, you weren't over the ocean, were you? No, I was on land. <laughs> but in, anyway, uh, I was the first one at the door. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was wanting to be the first one out because I was afraid that engine would blow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, after they got the fire put out, they, they couldn't get that engine started back. So they said, we're going to try to make it back on one engine. And when, when we got back to the base, we was low enough, we couldn't even go around the pattern. They just had to go in a straight in approach. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. And I looked out the window and I seen that, uh, three big fire trucks with a pass now. They was on the way to the farm. Yeah, and, uh, and about six ambulances. <laughs> <laughs> that helped you out a lot. Feel good. <laughs> and, and they tried to reverse that one engine to slow us down, and it threw it the plane inside. Probably made it. We went down the runway just like that. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. We got to the end, of, all the way to the end of the runway before we got stopped. And there's one of them fleet, uh, uh, flying park cars. And and the uh, doors are open at the back. Uh, right. In fact, it's taken off. So the pilot comes through there and says, abandon the plane immediately. And we had to jump about as high as this ceiling down to the country. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's quite a wonder experience. Yeah, a similar thing that the, the pilot came on and said, don't, don't worry about all the fire engines and stuff on the bottom. It's just routine because they, they put their, their landing gear down, but I guess the lock, the, the light that says that it's locked didn't come on. So, so, so it's routine procedures to have all the emergency stuff there. And it should be locked and everything should be fine, but we still don't feel it. And it, was, it, was, it was okay. It was still, that's scary. Yeah. Oh, you know, you didn't know. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm just going to keep my, my happy memories of the old days. So your flight will be just fine. Don't worry. I'll tell you, sorry. after that last one, it couldn't be worse. A so. great big plane that worried me. A, a six Unless it crashes or something. where you get one bag of peanuts and a coke. They worried me a lot. You won't even get a coke. <laughs> uh, they're fun. We've been out a couple of Ooh. problems they come on the PA while in the terminal and they say well plane can't fly we're gonna have to take you over somewhere else and find another plane and, and they come on two minutes later no everything's okay <laughs> like, what do you mean we are flying two minutes ago now it's okay well I mean what's what's cool. that? <laughs> we made it but I, I don't know what the deal was
came back from here, and we were over that ice and snow for hours, oh. I think. Wow. I did not like yes. looking yes. down. But it was my hand with my hair.
Your dad plays the dulcimer, doesn't he? No. Else with somebody, don't you? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Uh, I'm thinking of Matt been someplace that dose. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's right. I went over. Saturn didn't play a few tunes with him. But he just had surgery. <clears throat> oh, I just can't? No, uh, uh, had a, a load tuck out of it. Left lung. Wow. Oh, my. Okay. Well, it, uh, the cancer spread to the back home, too. Oh, oh no, it's too bad. He's, he's, he's taking radiation. Who is this? My oldest son. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. I think he had told me that. Yeah. Now, he finished his radiation day, so uh, they might know something, I don't know. But it, it's, I think it starts as... Uh, As he quits smoking. The, uh, what is it called? The emo. Emo. About two or three weeks. Yes. Yeah, trouble with this. He injured his hand too not too long ago, right? About a year ago. Yeah. Year ago. Oh, yeah, he set a finger off. Almost off. Somebody's been smoking around this. It's a bad sign. Some of them, they, when they get the lung cancer, they give up smoking. Yeah. And about see, time, I have seen it all. Really. Well, I know people who are still smoking that's uh, had lung cancer, and Dan Williams. Oh, really? And his wife both smoke like a freight train. Yeah, they quit now. Have they? Yeah. By God. Hey, go up here. I'm just sleep at night and then go out for a dance. Oh, well. I think that was before the quit. Yeah. Yeah. Argument. I'm, you're not a smoker, Bill. No. 